Bruce, back in January, the Barnstable Police Department partnered with Apex Officer. It's a virtual reality training platform. And I spoke to officers who took that training and they tell me that it is a huge improvement over the old systems that they knew by heart. Sergeant Kevin Connolly is a detective with the Barnstable Police Department in Massachusetts. He's been a police officer for 23 years. He says the Apex Officer virtual reality training platform is a game changer. And what's amazing in this training, when you're watching it, the officer will draw whatever tool they have to draw to deal with that scenario, what's presented to them. You can see their, their breath is going, their heartbeats racing, because in their virtual re world, someone's coming at them, and this is bad. This has got to be dealt with. Within a half an hour, Connolly says they can run through multiple scenarios. Through car stops, a firing range, uh, active shooters in buildings, active shooters in schools, uh, they now have courtrooms, they have a military base, they have all sorts of environments you can put people in. Connolly says the system gives them new perspective on situations. And the good thing is, with the officers that are going through the virtual training, you also now have a second officer who's being the uh, either compliant or non-compliant subject, and they get to see it from that angle as well. According to TJ Dishaw, Apex Officer's Chief Technology Officer, their training system is fully customizable and can be changed to address specific community needs. The officers walk up to the car stop, they tell them to put the window down, the window goes down. Then they tell them, hey, turn the interior light on. Well, they didn't have that in the software. And about a week later, I get a call and they say, hey, do the update. Now when the officer says, Turn on the turn on your interior light. They turn on the interior light. And with a push for defunding the police or reallocating funds for the police, it begs the question: How much does this training system actually cost? And it usually depends on the agency's budget. So I'm not going to. I can only say so much on that specifically. Um, but ours is a fraction of the cost. I asked Sergeant Connolly if he believes this training system could reduce the number of killings by police officers using excessive force. All you can hope for is the more that you go through scenarios and see different outcomes. As long as it's similar, it should help. According to Apex Officer CFO, there aren't any police precincts in DC, Maryland, nor Virginia that currently use Apex Officer's virtual reality training platform, Bruce.